Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -hmm. Everyone always keep falling in love again The fuck's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by someone save me For a pass out, I'm too lonely to be Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to Life Well Lived by Amabila Steven. It's an engaging and enlightening talk show on life, relationships, and the business of life. Grab a cup of juice and just chill. Life Well Lived by Amabila Steven. Live life. Live fully. You are now tuned in to this week's episode of our podcast. Today we are going to interview some of the greatest and most influential minds in our field. By sharing our collective expertise, we will show you how to harness, control, and use your own skill set to achieve ultimate success and live the life you want. And now, please welcome your host. Steven, and welcome to Live Well Lived by Mobile Steven. Now, if you want to catch up with any of my missed episodes, simply search for Live Well Lived by Mobile Steven on any podcast distribution platforms. Perhaps you can also catch up with me on my social media handles at Mobile Elisa, on Twitter and on my Facebook page, The Buttons Communications Networks, or on my Instagram page, Mobile underscore S, perhaps on my LinkedIn page, Mobile Steven. Now, on today's show, I have Aditya Major, podcast host, and he has a podcast called Podcast on Personality Development. Now, he's a business analyst and a passionate trainer offering expertise in computer and IT applications. Now, with me, Olai Wali Bamobola Steven, Aditya Major. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Omabola, for giving such a kind introduction of mine, uh, and I really appreciate it. And uh, thank you for inviting me on your show. It's, it's completely my pleasure. All right. Thank you so much once again for your time. Now, um, can you introduce yourself? Sure. Uh, so, yes, as, as you told, I am a business analyst by profession. So my main job over there is like, you know, I communicate with people. I communicate with two different kind of people, one from the technology background and the other from the user's background. It, it may be financial background, it may be sales background or marketing background or anything like that. Uh, and I have to become a communication bridge between them so that you know they can understand each other and uh, the, the application could be developed, the software or the system uh, can be developed with, with the help of all these personals. Apart from that, uh, I have a huge hobby uh, of reading books. Mm. I, I read like a lot of books. Uh, I, I have a huge shelf in my home mm. just for books, just reserved for books. And uh, yeah, and I pretty much like to teach people uh, about computer applications as well as about different aspects of like life, you know, like about many other things like uh, how to develop your own personality, mm. how to communicate properly. And all, all these things I teach in my day-to-day uh, -day lives as well, especially on weekends where I get some of the off time from my daily job work. Uh, so yeah, these are the things which I do and this is what I love. Oh, great. So thank you so much for that uh, introduction. Now, um, Aditya, now, I know that you are a podcast host and also a personal development coach. Now, I want to ask you this question. Um, um, what strategies can you provide to someone who has hit um, the rock bottom of life? Do you have any strategies or any advice you can share with that person? First thing, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. So first thing which I would like to say to each and every individual who are uh, facing the you know the very tough time uh, in their life and the rock bottoms of their lives it is very important to know that you know it is going to be there okay you 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 cannot do anything 
that you know that will just avoid all the problems coming into your life problems are going to come it is going to be there and you have to acknowledge that first okay and then obviously when you cannot do anything about it whenever the problem occurs you have to make a solution out of it okay just sit over it one place think about it like what is the problem and how can i find a solution about it okay that is the first thing which i would like to say the second thing once you know what is the problem okay try to find out solutions try to speak with different persons uh you know who who may be facing the same situation and it's it's quite obvious that many people who might have gone through the same problem they can help you out a lot like in my life i have seen that whenever i have dealt with the rock bottoms of my life i have always consulted people okay i always went to the people and shared with them that you know what this is the problem which i'm facing and i have two or three solutions in my head but i don't know what to do ahead and if you could guide me that would be the most awesome thing and yeah i mean people have come through people have guided me and uh, you know it is one of the most important thing that you must again follow that procedure like you know think about the solutions which you are getting from other people and make sure that you follow them as well okay most of the times what happens is we actually find a solution but we don't try to follow it we just try to avoid that problem and move forward in our life but that's 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 i would say that's that's just avoiding a problem for a particular amount of time but then it's just going to bounce back absolutely until and unless it and until and unless it's completely solved that's right. right so you know first thing yeah so uh, just make sure that you follow those procedures and those solutions which you are getting mm-hmm. and i think that is one of the most important thing however when going through these things i know it's it's tough you know it's it's damn tough you know going all in with all these problems going with the solutions as well it will be very very tough but what you have to keep in mind is the end goal that you know after all this is completed i'm going to get free from this problem okay so right. always i i always think about the end goal of it okay and then i just keep on going and trying to solve that problem mm. so you know that that is that is what i have faced till now and yeah that's that's how it goes no oh, great thank you for that uh, brilliant strategy now i want us to focus on relationship now because i know you're a relationship person now now the question is yeah. is conflict ld in any relationships and now how can we avoid conflict is it possible to avoid conflict well first of all uh, you know it it is somewhat i would say not possible to avoid conflict conflicts are going to be there because people have different set of mind okay people have different set of perspectives and it is quite obvious that again conflicts are going to be there but during the conflict okay if you want to go out and resolve those things if you don't want to uh, you know ruin the relationship first thing which i tell to each and every person is be open about your perspective don't just keep it in your head okay don't just you know create a <coughs> okay so don't just keep it in your head when you keep it in your head you are actually building a set of pattern in your mind about that particular person that you know what he is not going to listen to me but ultimately the other person is not going to listen to you because you are not telling him your perspective right and so be open about your perspective be open to share what you want to share and you know share it in a way that the other person can understand okay be a good listener and be a good speaker and you can resolve any kind of conflict which comes in your workplace or even in your personal relationship or anything uh you can definitely solve that in a very easy way if you are open about everything if you keep up you keep your mind open and understand in a way that the other person is looking towards whatever is the issue is right and make sure to provide like think about their perspective and provide them with your perspective okay so when when you give and take those perspective when you 
give and take your opinions that's where the conflict is resolved and that's where the relationships are saved and you know not ruined because of a simple conflict mm, great thank you for that now i know that's why business analyst now i wanted you to share your professional insights right on business startups or entrepreneurship do you have any to share yeah i mean i have a lot to share on that hmm. but uh, again i would i would like to say that uh, see what happens is as a business analyst it is very important for me to understand the whole business first and hmm. you know then create a system for that okay until and unless i don't understand any business i cannot create a system for it and obviously then i cannot hmm. communicate with all the vendors and all the users so the first thing what i have to do is understand the business understand its scope and you know then i have to go ahead and you know talk to different person about it apart from that uh, related to entrepreneurship uh, i have been a manager okay at multiple places so i always feel that you know customers uh, have a different set of mind and uh, when you think like a customer you are actually an entrepreneur okay mm -hmm. when you think about what you think are is is correct that means you are not an entrepreneur that means that you are just looking for things which you feel are right but ultimately what you have to do is you have to think according to the customer see most of the times uh, i do believe that you know some of the customers are there okay like i was as a counselor i was there and uh, you know there there were many people who just came in and said you know what you are selling this course to me but it's it's of too high price i cannot afford it and i think you are selling it at a higher price as well i don't know whether they could afford it or not okay but the first thing they they used to say is you know what it's too costly i'm like the first thing which i would be thinking is is it costly for him or he feels that the course is costly now these are two different things right which which i had to thought think about at that point of time so i just went back and thought about it like what exactly he meant by while he said that your your product is costly so i thought about it and i actually reviewed the whole market and i understood that there are people who are going to give like let's say 100 gram of a product and they will be selling at a far less price as what i'm selling so what happens is just because i'm selling like uh, you know 1 kg or 2 kg but that's what customer doesn't know about it right customer doesn't know that my quantity is larger what what i'm going to teach is larger as compared to those people who are offering at a far much lesser price and mm -hmm. that's that's where an entrepreneur should think about that why the customer are behaving in such a way that they are behaving right mm -hmm. and it's it's quite obvious you know like where where i was uh, doing a job where i was a manager uh, you know it it was the whole area was like the people who were there were like you know if if they are going to eat somewhere and if they are not getting free something if they are not getting free they will feel that you know what this particular shop or this particular food product is not very good just because it hurts their ego uh, when when they ask something for free a small thing let's say like when you uh, go for momos uh, you want extra chutney i mean that's that's i think an indian reference so yeah that's that's what people feel in that particular vicinity and the most important thing for an entrepreneur is understand the market and then behave like that so i think this <laughs> this this is what i could share oh wow that's very deep Thank you, you need to understand the market right and be like the market wow that's very profound thank you so much for that now how important is financial intelligence especially uh in this area of job insecurities you know and business shutdowns that we're experiencing in this pandemic well financial intelligence i would say it is first of all important to each and every person uh, who is listening to this and who like each and every person in this world that financial intelligence is something 
which you know needs like when, when you spend according to your needs and when you understand your needs and then spend for it i think that's what financial intelligence means for example if you know like there are huge companies use online market who who sets a uh, huge offers and huge discounts and people just barge into that without even understanding whether they need a particular product or not right so for example if let's say there is one offer uh, let's say with one mixture there is another mixture completely free or with one oven there is another oven completely free but do i need that oven i might not need it and i might not need it for a longer period of time as well then why should i spend to an offer for a product which i don't need it for a longer period of time instead i could take it on a lease or take it on a rent or do something about it borrow it from a friend and you know do it that way right because i'm not using it on daily basis again for example if if let's say i have to go to my job and uh, let's say my car is not working properly i have two options i can you know book a cab or what i can do is i can go via public transport there are two options with me now what i think is you know public transport is faster because cab will take its time to come towards me whereas for a public transport i have to go over there and i just have to take a bus or maybe hmm. a train and it i'm i'm pretty much sure that it will be uh, making my travel easy as as far as india is concerned it it makes my travel far more easy as compared to cab or as as compared to any other mode of transport i think public transport is far more easier for me and very much cost effective for me but if i want comfort i will definitely call a cab yes sir so again fin- right so financial intelligence comes into the picture when you know that you can get out of your comfort zone and save a huge amount of money okay like if if you can save like 70 to 80% of your cost that means you are financially intelligent you are understanding that you are understanding the value of money right for example there are there are hmm. many more uh, m- many more of my students who actually say you know what sir i want to buy an iphone i want to buy huge i mean not iphone but huge huge uh, you know good amount of phones let's say mobile phones okay which are very expensive and i'm like why would you buy that okay the first thing which they would say is because my friend is buying or these are the new features in that and all these things i'm like just because your friend is buying an expensive phone that doesn't that that doesn't mean that you have one you should you should have one as well do you actually need that why do you need that much expensive product when you can get the product with your features the features with you which you need at a far more less cost why would you go over there and buy that expensive phone mm-hmm. right so again understanding your need and then spending on it is basically financial intelligence oh, thank you so much that's what i feel thank you so much <laughs> a really interesting and impactful time with adia meta who is a personal development coach and a podcast host and is a business analyst he's been discussing on the subject of personal development across board now to my next question what important lessons on self development can you share with my audience well there are many things okay but uh, i will be sharing two important things which uh, you know even i followed till date uh, mm-hmm. you know in my day to day life okay mm-hmm. so the first thing is that that identify your weakness okay make sure and it's fine to have a weakness it's completely fine okay you have to understand that so first thing what you have to do is identify your weakness i always share this example with most of my students let's say if you are in a college or a school and if you are getting 75% okay or 75 let's say 75 percentage and if you want to reach to 85 percentage what will you do well most of the people say hard work most of the people say you know what i'll be doing this that but i think the most important thing is for even 75% okay you have done a sufficient amount of hard work 
then what is that one thing which you will be doing for getting towards 85 percent the first thing which you need to do is identify your weakness convert them into strength because ultimately the 10 percent which you are which you are losing is because of your weakness and you are not basically identifying it make sure that you first identify your weakness and then try to make it as a strength that is the first thing the second thing is the solution of that, how you can do that, right? So uh, I always follow people, okay? I always, uh, you know, try to observe people who are one step ahead of me, mm -hmm. okay? Not someone who is far more ahead of me, just some people who are one step ahead of me so that I can observe them mm -hmm. very closely. Like what are the efforts which they are putting in, what are the strategies which they are putting, and I'm not doing that. So I, again, uh, this is very much important. I, I, I think I have to make, uh, make, make, make understand about it, that there is a fine line between comparing and observing. Okay, you don't mm -hmm. have to compare yourself with anyone, but you have to observe like what they are doing and you are not doing. Okay, and try to do those things. Okay, like and observe them very closely, I would say, like, how do they walk? Okay, how do they speak? What are their behaviors in in the tough times? Okay, like, what are their behaviors when the opposite person is in anger? Okay, how do they manage their anger? And this you can only observe closely uh, if, if the person is just one step ahead of you. If you mm -hmm. are chasing a person like who is a lot more ahead of you, you cannot observe them closely, right? So I always try to tell people that always follow people, always observe people who are one step ahead of you. And I'm definitely sure when, you know, that part comes, when you feel that, you know, you are all set, then move ahead and again find that someone who is one step ahead of mm, you so inside. that's that's uh, the two things thank you inside thank you now i want to talk about mindset i know it's very important even at such time as we had now so how important is having a transformed mindset right? obviously see uh obviously there are many people uh who who have seen talking about positive mindset and uh about positive thinking as well okay but what i want to say is uh, that again these are two different things okay don't mix it up okay and i want to completely talk about positive mindset over here so what happens is when you have a positive mindset you actually understand what are the things which are not going according to you okay according to your wish but you still understand that according to the circumstances this is the actual right thing which is happening okay so let's say if tomorrow okay if government announces something related to this okay if you have a positive mindset you will understand why that is important rather than crying about it that you know why this is happening right now right so you know when you have a positive mindset you actually try to see positive things in each and every situation mm. right when when you are positively thinking you know it's it's something like uh, you are pos just just thinking positive that you know what things are going to get better things are going to get better but when you have a positive mindset you act like your whole life is actually positive because you are searching for positive stuff in each and every situation which is happening in your life so for for having positive mindset what you have to do is you first need to search for it it's a practice okay and believe me even i am not well versed with that but i try it each and every single day to actually search yeah. for positive stuff and that's the reason and that's the reason what I do is I have a diary in, in which like at the end of the day, I'll be writing all the bad things happened with me today and all the good things happened with me today. And mm. normally throughout the day, when I make a total of it, actually good things are more as compared to bad things. Mm, great. But 
I get more upset because of the bad things which happens, right? But when I see that list, but but when I see that list and when th when I think about it, it auto it it automatically makes a smile on my face because you know what? These are the good things happen, and I'm so happy about it. Why should I be sad that's about right. the things which didn't go that way, right? So you that's know right. that's 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 what I do. That's that. I think that, I think that's a really good way making a list. I think it's very. Do you have any projects you're working on? Yeah. Oh, I have a I have okay. a lots of project going on. Uh, you know, I am planning for my next season of the podcast, which is on mental and physical mm -hmm. health, where I'm going to that's invite right. the experts of mental and physical wellness because in these situations nice. uh, you know it is very much important that each and every person should know how important is your health That's right. and why you should keep your health as a priority that's right. so you know that's 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 the first project and the second project which is coming up for me is uh, you know i am going to take a live classes for those people who wants to you know uh, just go up with the personal development which is coming in march uh, 2021 so i have i have a good list of colleges uh, with whom i'm going to tie up with and i'm going to give a free life classes to them uh, related to self development and personal development and how to improve your learning techniques so that's that, that's that's two important projects which are coming right now oh great so i wish you best of luck in this project Thank you so much. Uh, All the best to you as well. You are doing an amazing work oh, with this podcast. Oh, thank you so much. Now, um, lastly, do you have any parting word for my audience? Definitely. Uh, well, in, this, in, in these kind of tough situations, uh, always make sure that, you know, when, when you are up to your positive mindset, nothing can, you know, drop you down. Okay. So make sure that you are strength. You, you have all the strength just in here. Okay. Nowhere else, just in your mind. If you are very much strong in your mind, you can do anything in your life and you can face anything like whatever life throws at you, you are going to get through each and everything when you are mentally strong. So make sure that you are mentally strong and being mentally strong. I didn't meant, uh, I, I do, I didn't mean like, you know, you should just be strong. You know what? I'm going to face it. I'm going to face it. Being strong, being strong means that, you know, searching for good things in any That's situation nice. and then you, and the strength automatically builds in you. Okay. So make sure to do that. And if you guys have anything, uh, if, if you guys, you know, want to connect right. with me, uh, I'm, I'm all yours. Okay. You can connect to me via my Gmail or via my uh, Instagram ID. So what you can do is you can just uh, contact me via my podcast Instagram page. That is personality development podcast. It's quite simple with all the actual spellings and everything in it is in small caps. Okay. So make sure to, uh, you know, contact me over there. It's fine. If you are not following me, it's completely fine. Just drop a message. Uh -huh. I'll definitely give you a reply to that. All right. Thank you so much once again. Now it's a wrap now for me to you. It's a marvelous Steven. I'm signing out. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Madre mi ventana, es lo que eres mi amor Mil estrellas en mi cielo, yeah. estar contigo es lo que quiero En ti sueño todos los días, pero en el anochece Quiero que no sean sueños, que en verdad yo sea tu dueño y tú seas mi mujer Ya le dedico